And the conflict in Ukraine drags on, gets worse, more civilian casualties, more atrocities, and now, as we see, even war crimes allegations being made by the Biden administration against Russia officially and out in the open. Here is Secretary of State Blinken saying that Russia is in fact committing war crimes in Ukraine. Yesterday, President Biden said that, in his opinion, war crimes have been committed in Ukraine. Personally, I agree. Intentionally targeting civilians is a war crime. After all the destruction of the past three weeks, I find it difficult to conclude that the Russians are doing otherwise. I don't think that Vladimir Putin really cares much. I think that he, he would expect that he would not ever come under the jurisdiction of the International Criminal Court, which Russia left some years ago anyway, uh, as a signatory. And he figures that whatever he has to do to get his ultimate objectives in Ukraine, he's going to go to those lengths. We face uh, with the Russians, we being, of course, the West, the Ukrainians, America, a very dedicated opponent here, uh, one who is ruthless and vicious uh, and has certainly a willingness to break not just the norms of warfare in a general sense, but specifically to violate the Geneva Convention and engage in war crimes. Now, what are we going to do about all this? We've already put sanctions in place. We've given more munitions. Well, the Biden administration has stepped up some of the rhetoric, but not a whole lot has changed or shifted about their ultimate position with regard to Ukraine. Here is Nancy Pelosi, for example, who just a few days ago was talking about how she won't want to blow up all the different Russian tanks that she saw in the long convoy. Yeah, General Pelosi, it's a terrifying thought. She says that Joe Biden has done a masterful job managing the situation. Yeah. For a second, and just say, President Biden has done a masterful job in managing <clears throat> this situation in a way that is collaborative, not condescending or dictating, but collaborative. The unity of the of, of the um, G7, the, not only the G7, but the NATO alliance has been remarkable to behold. Biden has done a masterful job. It's terrifying that Nancy Pelosi says that out loud with a straight face, and some people in this country will believe her. Biden voters will believe anything, it seems, that they are told. Um, and there are some who are also wondering, when is there going to be more of a focus on what's going on here in America?